was at the state uh, Department of Health EMS recognition uh, ceremony. And Wasatch County specifically, uh, I left my thing down in the office. Pointer? No, uh, I had the program that has the names. The names. Do you want me to go through them? This is, well, they're not all here. They're not all oh, here, is what I was going to say. That, I think I know about all of them. Uh, you don't know two of them, because two of them are life -like, but, um These are the individuals, plus a, a couple more that responded to the accident on East Highway 40 when the uh, life flight, the two life flight people got in the car wreck, one was killed. And they were honored as being uh, for this, the service they offered um, in that instance at that ceremony as a group. It was it's a big deal. They got a, a big plaque. Um, they're good people, and I just wanted to share that with you. And not all of them could make it. We were short of several um, that were involved. But it was a horrendous situation, and uh, it was one of their own. And uh, the, the individual that did survive was at the ceremony. And he talked for a moment. Um, it was. I don't know, it's, it's pretty touching. So I just, I just want to share that with you. We, we had some great, great people. We did I agree work with us. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. That's a, that's a pretty sharp looking crew, too. Yeah. But anyway, it's a big deal. You can do it um, I received a, an email from Park City uh, from uh, Diana Foster. She has the manager. She was requested by the mayor, Mayor Thomas, to uh, contact us to see if we could meet with them. He specifically asked for the chair. However, I'm responding saying you will decide who that individual or individuals may be to meet with Park City to help determine uh, the need assessments, whatever, for Bonanza Flats. Uh, I mentioned to you Last week, I think about the issues we had before the July. I did send an email to Park City. Over there. Is this in response to that? I'm assuming such that they, that wasn't indicated in the email, and I haven't talked to them. But um, I didn't know if you want to assign a person or assign a couple could of people. We do. Could we do one of us and you? Yeah. As yeah, administrative, fine. and then one one legislative. Unless you guys, unless someone has an issue with that. Is there someone specific that may have better understanding of what the what the problem, or someone you think may have a better understanding? I'm certainly willing to do that as well. Chair, I think there's a lot of, of good representation. If it comes to some water issues, though, Steve's going to be the guy who knows most about the water up there. Okay. But there's road issues. You know what? That's in that large. That's I'm okay with that too. If Steve's willing to do that, I, I, I want to be careful. I'm not trying to say. No, no, no. I'm not trying to pick you. Your we, we've got lots of we got lots of people going lots of directions. So if there's someone who's willing and has some extra, um, you're the chair. They specifically asked for the chair. So I mean, well, if the chair at large is I'm fine with. That's what I'm thinking. I think and you're the vice chair. No. No. Oh, okay. 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 Sorry. What do you think? I'm good either way. I'd be glad to do it if the council wants to. You're, you're a, I mean, it's you're a, big, you're a big way guy, you're an at large guy, you're a water guy. I think that makes sense that Steve. You know, come back to that. Thing. Yeah, would you would you two be willing to do that together? I'm, I'm more than willing. That'd be great. Yes. You guys okay with so that? So I'll get with you. We'll contact you. Yeah, one day day one day. They didn't say a date. We'll just and contact you. If you can't make it, holler and I'll, um, I'll go. And we gave him the twenty-five thousand dollars. Yeah. No, and I will, on the condition, the, the motion we made on the condition we have. That's either the day when they came up with the uses. The other thing that we mentioned was we wanted to have an MOU pertaining to services. Yes. There's those two issues that I had um, pertaining to if there's issues emergency services. This would be issues. one of those issues. So, right? This would be one of the so. Um, I think what we can get with them is get that resolved and we can give them money and, and so forth. And so. If you have an issue, call and I'll go. One of us will be able to. Next item, you received my email, I hope, on the uh, letter I received for the 
Park Center issue. I, I really was uncomfortable even answering that because I felt that was all council issues uh, to make those determinations. I'm not sure how you want to proceed with that process. Do we do some high response? Yeah, I thought you had a pretty thorough response. Uh, and I, I skimmed through their their the attachment. And did it address, seem like your letter said it did address uh, what the community needs were. Because it seemed to me that they were looking to create a center to bring in more revenue to the county from outside visitors and from outside acts and groups and parties. And I know that they've worked with the local groups, but is this to be the permanent theater for all of our local, uh, do you know the answer to this, for all of our local, uh, like our I, 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 city, or no, is it one section orchestra? We have three or four different play groups. I, I, I guess my impression is, I don't know this, but my impression is that it's their desire. I don't know if that's the case. No, I still have a problem bringing money into something where we don't have to do hold it. Or, operate, or how it can be operated, putting public money into it. I mean, it's a, it's a, a, a private venture. <laughs> county it seemed well, like it was going to be a mixed thing to me, and yeah. I, could, I could never get a, a hold, Steve, of a formula of how much of it was going to be for the locals and how much it was going to be for uh, some type of revenue generator from whomever, um, from outside groups. Just, just an outside observation. Those are issues that need to be determined. I think. Maybe from my perspective, we need a mechanism that allows you to immerse in those decisions. I don't think we have that issue. I, there are a lot of issues, okay, whether it's the right property or who it's for or whatever. It's kind of the way it was started is it excluded the government entities to a degree, it invited a representation, but I'm not sure. Usually something like this is done with there's potential bonding, there's potential uh, public monies being involved. It's usually done in another order where the entities create it and invite the public to participate in that. This is the other way around. The public's created this and then it's invited individuals. I think you need to get past how that works somehow. I'm not saying it's the right way or the wrong way. I think you need to get past because all we're doing is exchanging emails and nothing's going to no progress. But until there. we get the answer to the questions that Council Farrell brought up, I'm uncomfortable doing anything with any kind of public money. So this document, even I listened to it, maybe they didn't communicate very clearly. I, I talked to Michael Lennon about this, and what they're trying to do with this document is take a step back and say, okay, we're going to go try and answer all of your questions so that we can start this project moving forward. And here's an outline of all the questions we think you want answered. Is this the right list? And we'll go try and research the answers so we can start the process over again. That was my <laughs> understanding. So all they so want we just need to answer the question. Look at the list and say, no, you didn't, you didn't, you know, you aren't going to try and research how it impacts traffic, or you aren't going to try and research where where the orchestra is going to, you know. Whatever we think we need, they're asking for our input so they can have a definitive list and go research. I never saw anything in the meetings that I attended, but I stopped attending because I didn't trust the process. But I never saw anything close to a needs assessment. It was uh, several groups in the county said, we think we need this. And All then, the arts and then jumped started. way ahead and said, okay, where are we putting it? And then, and then come ask the county for money. And I thought it kind of was backwards and not Well, it. maybe what you should do as a council is come up, and if it, if it is an easy I'm not saying it, but if it's an easy assessment, reply back and say, this is what we need first to be able to move on. Or take the questions that are in that and say, well, we agree with these, or we don't agree, or add ones in, or whatever. It seems like our major players are, are the county, Heber, and Midway on this one. And Make your play. I think I just disagree with that a little bit. I think the major player is some private donor. Yeah, we don't know. No, that's is. what I was just going to say. I don't think it's going to happen without that. The major players for some kind of one time donation <coughs> might be yeah. those folks. Yeah. But until we know how, what, why, when, and where, I, I'm, not, I'm not real comfortable. I guess like, then uh, if that's the case, then I'm okay with that evaluation. Then. What role do we have to play at all? That's my question. That's where I just be a one-time. Well, so, so so what happened in the beginning? This is just my opinion. 
is they started to go down that path and they saw some bill. I don't know what the bill might be, $20,000 or some amount of money for an engineer to go start to do the engineering estimates for an art center. And they thought, well, let's ask the entities to help us fund that initial cost. And that's how, how it happened. And that was putting the cart way before the horse. Yeah, I agree. I think this wants to be private with some public one-time funds. And that's the way I viewed it. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, I think we need to know that up front before we break down the I do too. The reason I was identifying those three entities is those have been the people, or that's where a lot of the representation has come from. And so, should is this something that we may want to redirect this? The, the questions that he's asking to the council, redirecting to tourism and economic development. Is that where those? Well, so it seems that that's, that's the appropriate place for it to well, where those entities reside in a well, forum that they could. Yeah. Somebody from the county. Somebody There's from the this arts council. Um, and the Arts Council kind of lives under that organization, that whole tourism and economic development, or the Dallin. Are any of those folks elected? No. Tracy. Also, I think the other component of this that isn't definitive yet is the public support for it. Yeah. So that's the other thing where I don't know if you want to be stepping out in front of public support and showing support when Midway City residents aren't even on the same page for this project so that's where I'm at it's a, it's a private deal until they get a lot farther down the road to me but that's just me I don't know how to answer the questions for them because I don't know what I don't know what to define I mean of course I understand the need they need a place to put on good high quality plays and performances in Wasatch County. But then who's going to be the, the main user of that stage over the long haul? I don't know. Who's responsible for maintaining it? Who's going to fund it when it doesn't and if it's very feasible or cost wise for organization to use once they get in that town. I know for Calvary Poetry for example if it wasn't for the high school donating a lot of that space, they would never make it. They wouldn't be able to even be able to be in the red. Well, and I think the the cost models, if you look at other ones around, and if you look at Tuacom, if you look at Centerpoint, you start looking at all of these, there's a big chunk of money that's overcoming the operation debts mm -hmm. for every one of them from somewhere. Yeah. Eccles this, this has family. To it's the private sector. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing. It's that, usually the private sector, but it isn't always. It Sometimes doesn't have to be, but it, in my mind, if we're looking at county funds and we've talked about all the needs we have and all the impacts we're facing and all the critical things that we have to fund, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to defer to a private entity, and then if they want a donation, once they've got all the facts, then well, they come and see us. That's what I'm saying. That in, the, in this current climate. Yeah. I think it's highly unlikely that any of the government entities, those three that we talked about, would fund or or agree to overcome a significant operational deficit for this. Yeah. I just don't think that's in the climate in the well, where, where we can line up to maybe implement a ZAP tax down the road to help pay for that. I don't know if we're ready for that. Okay, can I'd we, like, what do we need? I'd like to see an ownership value uh, going to be yeah. owned. How, how do we reply? Do we, do some, one of us need to respond? I mean, Mark's or, responded. Or a business plan or something. Could we? Can, I'm right on line with you. Can we have you respond? I've talked to the council. This is what, the, how they feel. I mean, have you got a feel for that or not, really, after this conversation? I don't know. Well, I, I can do it. I can I can, I'll I'll suggest something. can we suggest that Mike require that they bring their presentation to, uh, bring their question for presentation to the uh, Tourism Economic Development Board? Because I think that this is, this is a business that wants to come in, a private business that may want some contribution from us in the future. And, and that can also relay our, our feet. Are you okay? Steve, Steve and I are on. And you can, can relay our feet. Is that okay? Because I think it maybe needs to be redirected there so that they get a clear understanding that we're not looking to be the owners of it, are we? Because if we're starting to talk about the app tax, we're, we're owners. Mm -hmm. No. No, but, but I think that's the direction that, that's what they, they want. 
Are you okay with that respond and, and right. tell So let me tell you how I just interpreted what you just said. Okay. Is that um, in talking with the council felt it was appropriate that uh, this come through the tourism component, that the, mechanism, the mechanism or questions that we feel, the council feels need to be asked, could be answered through that mechanism. I, I might add to that that we've done this in the past, that when we fund these types of things, we fund them through tourism as well. The county has funded them that way rather than directly uh, funding. At least we've tried to do that for, for most of the ones we've done. And that would redirect that. I'm very uncomfortable when they keep coming to see me and keep calling and, and I don't, you know, this is something I, I don't, if it was in the code and you'd already put money aside for it, I can take care of that. I can administer that. But see, I, I agree with this because I think tourism is the right place because it, it seemed like if there was going to be any contribution from the county and come through TRT type of funds, I, I, I agree with you. Any request for funding, I'll just be before you know, for Let me draft that. Okay. Um, I'll send it to you. Particularly, I'm going to talk with Mark. Mark's really good at draft. <laughs> yes, that's the thing. That's okay, Mark. Yeah. Well, he's a representative for the for that board, for the council, right? Yeah. We're good. I'm good with that. That's okay. And then, okay. if you're okay with this, can you okay. add to it, guys? Please yeah. add to it that we are a supporter, at least I am. I'm a very strong supporter of the arts. I'd like to see them have some permanent home, but I'd like it to. I'd like to make sure they've done across all their views, dotted all their eyes before they start asking for funding. Yeah. And and I think you know, Steve, you said it exactly right. We just in the few months that I've been on the council, we we've, we've heard a lot of input and suggestions from the citizens about open minds, for example. We need to hear those same voices about arts. If they're trying to, you know, set that up for some kind of zap tap in the future, it's, it's, you know, they need to work that system. It would take a while. Yeah, like Steve said, business plan. I think we're going along there. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm. I've got a meeting set up with the uh, architect that was chosen for the library. Um, I'm asking if one of you want to be present at the meeting. I'm asking as a group that... Say that again. Oh, okay. okay. You're our library guy, right? Yeah, I represent him on our library board. Yeah. You okay with that? Are you okay with me doing that? It's, it's Friday, July 21st at 10 a.m. Is that going to be a problem? Let me that time. Okay, now the, the one item we have on there uh, on the agenda, I kind of skipped over first, but. I'm sorry, let me know. Uh, um, Steve, if you can attend that meeting, would you, because it's a big portion of what happened, what we do there impacts the senior park. And I'd like to have your input in there so that I'll have to bring back to council and get input and take it back. One of the things we need to do, which is somewhat important, we need to give them an idea of the budget. And that budget is dependent on a couple of different things. We, certainly the library has some funds and they're limited to what they can do, but it was discussed with the council that the county may participate because of parking that we share or other components that may be shared that might be a contribution to the council. I don't know what that figure is, and I don't think you do at this point, but we've got to kind of give some direction to this architect I'm not giving them a blank check. We've got to, you know, put a cap on this thing. But I think we can do that through defining the needs of what we need. And it would be good to do that because you would represent the senior side of the needs. Um, so that's a good point. I can be there if I can remember. Using the senior side if I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's the 21st at 10 a.m. 21st, 10 a.m. Friday, the 21st. Okay. Okay, the item that is listed on the agenda it has to do with the, uh, the expansion of the sheriff's office for the dispatch. We opened the bids, we received two bids. Um, there won't be any action on this. I, this is a discussion issue. The engineer's estimate was 1662500. The, the bids came in at 
The low bid was 1945588. The high bid was 2448777. So we're um, 400, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 400 thousand dollars over the engineer's estimate. Um, we had put essentially earmarked the monies for this expansion through 911 monies, some through the sheriff's department. We had uh, different categories that we put aside about 1.5 million. So. Uh, from the monies we put aside, I'm almost $500,000 off of that. I do have significant funds in the impact fee for uh, emergency services. So, and that, and this is capital. capital. This is capital, right? So we can use those funds here. We can. Okay. Um, there's not a decision to be made, but that is going to be my recommendation. <coughs> that we use um, those portions of that fund to make up the difference. And, and quite frankly, we've been on this long enough that that's part of the reason the costs are up. Construction costs are going up. Uh, well, that's why we do it. Just to help. So the yeah. indicator, we only have two bids. That's one of the indicators of the issue. Yeah, a few years ago, we had, we had 20. Have you chose the contract yet? Um, well, the apparent goal bidder is uh, Jet Construction. That will be brought to you next week at a regular meeting for approval. And uh, I just want to give you a heads up that you have a copy of all the information that the uh, both were qualified bidders, both fit all the needs of the qualifications of the RFP. So uh, that will be brought to you next week. Okay? Yeah. And then I do have two issues, one uh, potential litigation, and one employee. Okay. Uh, that, uh, that is uh, all of our regular uh, Oh, okay. Under manager's report? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Mark, did you have an opportunity to talk with um, today about the uh, fire days from dispatch? We asked last night that you give them here today. No, I was with Bernie, but he didn't mention anything. He was me, but he didn't mention anything. Has anything happened since then, since the email that he sent to us about? Nothing's happened at all. It was a question okay. to you. I'm not going to act on anything to help sure you guys now. In the discussion with Bernie, he had, he's understanding that he's paying Dispatch. Every month they're on our warrant. So we have three to four thousand dollars a month they're dispatch. That's mm -hmm. what the sheriff indicated to me. I'll have to get the or warrant. I was going to say the warrant list, but yeah, they're, they're on there. He pays them every month. Now it could be for radios. I, I don't know. Radios, that's an that issue. Where we're so he's going to get with you, I think, before we assume or speculate. We need to make sure those two, that you and Murdy get together. Because okay. we may be talking about two different things. Let's get on the same page. Yeah. What else you got? Did we, um, did we put it in your hands to come up with the MOUs for the SSDs for the comptroller? Yes. I'm working on that with Ben. Uh, Mr. Rose. Were we going to include solid waste and parks and rec and that because it's a blended fund or we not? I, I was not recommending doing that because it is a blended fund. We do the auditing and handle all of their, their books so there wouldn't be really anything for them to do for solid waste and, and park and rec uh, from that standpoint unless you wanted to do any additional audits. So we that would be you know, somewhat to you. I mean, we could have the agreement and, and only have it in place. No one hasn't used it yeah. necessarily. Because there was a request, that Tracy had made a request, I think it was last year, early in the year, that we do a uh, profit loss statement for the, was it rec center or event center? Both. Both. And so well, then we had determined, well, that may not be the most appropriate document to get the information that she's looking for. But once we get the comptroller on board and we get the MOU in place, then that's something we can have the comptroller look at for that SSD and come up with what's the, the most appropriate document. And I didn't talk to Ben about that. 
he didn't know what kind of document to be, but he said he was more or less come up with something that could uh, be some interpretation in there of what is, uh, how much of that is service related. Okay. So I would think that maybe we would want to do what you had just said is an MOU that's just kind of as needed basis for the data to it for parts We can right prepare it, it'll come to the board. So, so you'll do the same as everything else, we'll just may or may not use it. Well, that would be up to the entity for that. Okay, it is possible to have Barry or somebody give an update on the finances of solid waste what they oh, yeah. have reserves and Absolutely. And if we did, we're spending an awful lot of money. Yeah. That, uh, we can't spend before. Well, that we knew we could spend. Oh, I, I would suggest you do. I don't we, see we know we're doing the expansion out there, but then we're also doing new trucks. I know yeah. yeah. we're looking to raise the rate if we need to, and we have to address the code as well. And do we need? To, do we want to do that? If we do, we probably. Is that something we talked about? This has got to address the code about changing uh, if we're going to allow people outside of Wasatch County to come down and then to charge a higher rate for people outside of Wasatch County. Well, that would have to be done through the special service district. Yeah. Yeah. And it would probably be. But it's kind of the code that, that we're talking about, not the special service district code. Did I misunderstand that? I mean, special service district. It's in the. It's in the. It's in the. Creation document or the well, that, <coughs> that one's a blended it might fund too. It might, whatever it might be. Remember that's a blended fund. So I think but I don't think the county, county has an ordinance saying we won't accept waste from well, the county ordinance. I think it's in the dot. It's a bylaw. Bylaw. Is that what it is? Okay. But